And as you probably already know, Shattered Fable is the latest Pokemon to be released in the TCG. And today we're going to take a quick and deep enough look at the set. So let's get started with Seal Prodded. We have booster bundles at $30 in the US and about 20 euros in the EU. We have ETBs for about $40 in the US and with the largest difference among all Seal Prodded, 30 euros in the EU. Notice I know that in the US they have not been released, whereas in the EU you can already find them. And then we have collection boxes. I'm just going to mention the Kindra collection boxes for now as it seems to be the problem that goes for the most amount of money when it compares to the Greninja EX. And that collection box goes for about $30 in the US and 28 euros in the EU, which after conversion rate is pretty much the same price. Last but not least, we have mini tins for $95 in the EU. Another thing we're mentioning, I don't know if you noticed, but in the US and in the EU, we have two different types of bundles. And what I mean by that is the same packs in both bundles take for a total of six. However, the size, the cardboard itself looks different. That being said, let's move on to singles. Well, when it comes to single, it's worth mentioning pull rates, which TCG player data has yet to come out. However, I was able to source this on Reddit, which seems to be pretty reliable by Pucky ETF. And we're gonna focus only on illustration rares and SIR. Now, an illustration rare seems to be as easy to pull as any other set when it comes to pulling any illustration rare. But if you want a specific one, then given the fact that you have 15 illustration rares in the set, it comes down to one every 195 packs. When it comes to SIRs, we have similar pull rates than Paradox Rift at one every 67 packs. And if you want to pull a specific one, then with only five SIR in the set, you're looking at a probability of about one in 335 packs. Now, staying the course with SIR, the Catspedia is currently the most expensive card in the set, as well as the most expensive SIR at about $48 in both the EU and the United States. And it also happens to be my personal favorite alongside the Fizendipity, hopefully I didn't butcher that name, EX SIR at about $70, which given the fact that they are the most too expensive card in the set, I would say that the market seems to be agreeing with me when it comes to taste. Now, moving on to IRs, which we have seen in the Scarlet Valor era, have been quite the surprise when it comes to price as well as artworks. People are starting to love them, and uh, I made different videos about it, especially when it comes to Paradox Rift, because Paradox Rift has the top of the pull rate when it comes to illustration rares, pulling a specific illustration rare out of the pack alongside Poldia Evolved. But enough has been said, let's focus on Shrouded Fable. Well, we had the Persian and the Howdoom illustration rares leading the charts at respectively $30 and $25. They're closely followed by the Duskull Evolution line, sitting at around $20 per card. Now, my personal favorite, to be honest, are none of them. I do prefer the Cresselia, which does hold some nostalgic value to me, as well as the Horsey. I do like the Orsi, and I think we all agree that we wish the Kindra EX was a card in the set and not a special promo. And then I'm gonna give honorable mention to the Fizendipity, the Minkidori, and the Okidori illustration rares, as I think they display quite a piece of artwork, stunning artworks of what appear to be less popular Pokemon, hence they fetch a lower price. Lastly, getting back to collection boxes, the Kindra and the Greninja EX seem to be fan favorites. I was able to witness quite the demand for the Kindra and the Greninja in Italy as I saw multiple people looking to buy copies of the card, as well as I did see some people in the US trying to get their hands on them as soon as possible. That being said, you may wonder at this point better, what do you think of a Shard of Fable? Well, when it comes to Lucius Rear, I think it's a great set. I think there are many valuable artworks. However, it does lack SIRs. There's only five, and the five of them are unarguably not fan favorite Pokemon, which makes me stay away from it as an investment. Now, when it comes to plays, I want to see how the market settles, and I want to be helped by my bot, which is available for free by joining the Discord. And I will try to monitor the supply as well as the price as well as the volume 
so I can have a better understanding of the market and I will see if there are any plays to be made. So long story short, I will not invest in any sealed product. I will see what the single market will do in the following days, weeks, and then I will try to act accordingly. Let me know if you enjoyed this type of video and I'd highly appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Arrivederci.